Hello my sweet little angels, my name is Maddie and welcome back to my channel. But if you are new, welcome to my channel. So today I have a predicament, okay? I got invited to go out with my friends. But here's the issue. That's embarrassing, girl. That's all grown out and we're gonna fix it today. And I'm gonna show you how I do it. And you're gonna be like, whoa, hold on, pause, girl. You already made a video about this. And to that, I'm gonna say, yes, but I cracked the code on how to do it better. Um, so we're gonna do it again. And also, cause I wanna record it cause I like hanging out with you guys, okay? So be nice. And with that, let's get started. Okay, so first I have to separate out these pieces, which is always a joy and a delight to do. So I have my little mirror over here and um, let's see, I need a comb and I need my hair brush and we're gonna get started. My air purifier was on and I felt like the vibes it was bringing was like very clinical. We don't need to have a whirring in the background. <laughs> Anyways, just ignore me. Uh, if I remember correctly how I parted this, we're just gonna do like a little like, mm, yeah, and we'll see how that looks. Great, looks terrible. I hate it already. But actually that may have been perfect. Let's do the same thing to the other side and see how we're feeling. Did I just do this perfectly on both tries? Yes! I mean, there is a little, like here's the thing right? I've done this so many times that like it's not gonna be like 110% perfect every time uh, I part it, but like it don't really matter. Like once my hair is all styled and done, it just doesn't matter. So now what we're gonna do is tie back the rest of my baby hairs because we don't want that to get bleached. So, and we're gonna give myself a founding father ponytail. That is truly the look I'm trying to go for right now. I can't see you guys. And if you see my hairy armpits, one, be nice, two, it don't matter. And that's all I have to say. I like it, so yeah. I secured the founding father hairdo. We got my little pieces out in the front and now we're gonna make the bleach mix. So what we're gonna do for that is I have a, looks like I'm about to start cooking. Um, I have a tablespoon in a bowl. This is a bowl that like my, I, my boyfriend usually eats cereal out of, um, but I am going to be using it to put bleach in it. But you know what? It'll just be like, it's extra clean. So first we're gonna take, and I am wearing a shirt by the way. It's a little bandeau, top thing so i'm not just like sitting here butt ass naked and i'm wearing pants that have poop emojis on them um so okay, i'm gonna take the 20 volume developer i don't know what my cat is doing and we're gonna get a tablespoon of that oh wait no pause we're going to scoop the powdered bleach first because then it won't be sticking all into this. So yeah, I used the L'Oreal Quick Blue. I know blue bleach doesn't really do like anything that crazy, um, but I bought this like years ago and it's taking me a long time to go through it because I only bleach like a tiny amount of my hair. So yeah, anyways, we have splat bleach in here. Ignore that. Um, we're gonna just take a tablespoon of this. We're gonna make it kind of heaping because we want it to be a thick paste. Put that splat bleach back in there. I don't know why I haven't just thrown it away, but you know, I have it just in case if you know the Great Depression hits and I need some more bleach. Great Depression part two, the remix. Man, I'm cracking myself up today. Anyways, now we're gonna get that 20 volume developer and drop the lid and then put a tablespoon of that in. And then we're gonna take a tablespoon of 40 volume developer because I don't know if you can tell, but I don't have 30 developer. And um, I'm making it 30 by mixing the two because when I was a psychopath back in my day, I used to just put straight 40 developer on my hair and then I realized it made it crispy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna mix this tiny amount of bleach. It's not too much, just enough to get my little, my little money pieces. What do you think? And if this fails, then I will go out with my friends with a shaved head and it'll be fun. So you want it to be like a thick paste because you want it to, <coughs> Jesus Christ, that smell of bleach, oh my God. 
You want it to be a thick paste uh, because you want it to like fully coat your hair. You don't want to just put like a thin layer on like, you know, that's like not going to do anything. So now that we have a nice thick juicy paste, I don't have gloves and you're just gonna have to deal with it. Um, now we're gonna put this bleach on my hair. It'll be fun and we're gonna do it together as a family. I don't remember where I placed my head. My, <laughs> my hair when I have bleach on it. So I'm about to do something pretty pretty ratchet and we're all going to be nice because I don't want it to get on the rest of my hair. This is a judgment free zone. We're all very sweet and nice to each other. So now we're just gonna make sure it's all saturated in there and also start applying it to the roots. Like I know it doesn't make that much of a difference to like not apply it directly to the roots right off the bat, but in my little squirrel brain, I think it does. So. Both my cats are just sitting here staring at me like, girl, what you doing? Mommy's having mommy time right now, okay? I'm so scared of this bag falling off my head. So now that that is all done, and I believe she is all saturated, we are going to take a baby piece of foil and wrap her up like so. Maybe give her a little flip back. Bro, why do I look like that? Okay, well, she's in the foil. The rest of my hair is protected as far as I know. And uh, I'm gonna get another one for good measure and slap it right there. And then the trick, I know I look crazy, but listen to me right now. The trick is to put a gosh dang heating pad on your head. So I'm gonna take this, plug it into the wall, and I'm gonna go sit my ass down for, I'd say like 20 minutes with this heating pad on my head and it's gonna be perfect. I'm manifesting right now. So anyways, ignore how I look and I will see you guys in 20 minutes or in like a couple of seconds for you, but 20 minutes for me. All right, so update. I have left it on. I took the foil off because it was pissing me off. I left it on for 20 minutes with heat. It was all bubbly and stuff because that's what happens when you apply heat to it. It goes up and it starts going all crazy and it's kind of cool. I just kind of like dragged the bleach down a little bit to where my banding was because I get a little bit of banding and I'm just gonna let it sit there for like five minutes without any heat um, because I don't want to like destroy already bleached hair and then um, I'm gonna rinse it out and then I'll show you guys what it looks like so then we can tone it all right I'll see you guys in a bit again how do I look so as you guys can see it turned out very great and that's all because I used heat if you looked at my last video I did of me doing my hair it was like yellow and don't get me wrong this still has yellow tones to it which is why we're gonna tone her after you're done doing that and rinsing her out as you can see this is a completely different color from the rest of my hair and that's because we're gonna apply a little bit of T18 and I know before any hairdresser comes from me in the comments they're gonna probably say you can't just universally use t18 on any bleached hair and i didn't learn that until after i bought it and again this is another thing that's taking me a long time to go through because i only make a little bit of it that being said we're gonna tone my hair right now after a little sip of my energy drink which i do not need any more of but alas here i go this is gonna be way more easier and way more of like, we don't have to attempt to avoid everything that it touches because you know, it's just toner. Um, but I got my T18 and I got my 20 volume developer and we are going to get 
just a tiny bit of her. We don't need too much. Um, I'd say like half a tablespoon. What's the parts again? One part of that and two parts of volume. I mean, developer. <laughs> two parts volume. And then yeah, we're gonna do like a full tablespoon of 20 volume developer. So now we're gonna mix her all up and now we're gonna apply her to my hair. Great, so now I'm gonna wash my hands, wrap her up in a little bit of foil, and then uh, rinse this out after, I think that's 30 minutes. And then my hair will be done, and I'll show you guys. So I'll be back in a second. All right, everybody, here is the finished product after it's all been toned. What do you think? I think it looks great. It's still wet, but that's because I have to do things around the house. I was gonna wait for it to dry to show you guys, but I mean, like, you can just see that in my next video. So that just gives you incentive to uh, watch next week's video. <laughs> no, I really love how it turned out. Um, I definitely recommend using a heating pad and applying heat. I wouldn't do a blow dryer because that just dries out the bleach and you want it to be wet. Yeah, that is it for this video. I hope it was semi entertaining and informative to y'all and I had a great time doing it. <laughs> As you guys can probably tell, I am a baby small channel, so if you want to give me some support, that would mean the absolute world to me. So, you know, like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you like a lot of my videos and you want to see more. But if you hated it, just comment and say, hey, this kind of sucked, so I know, so I can make better content for you guys. But that is all for me. Um, I will open the floor to y'all now, and I will see you next week with a new video. Bye, guys!